Welcome back my children to another food review video. Today I will be eating and reviewing the Hot Ones Hot Pockets. And these came out like about three months ago or so. They pretty much came out like a few weeks after I finished um, doing the previous Hot Pockets video that I have, which was for uh, with Magic the Gathering. So um, as soon as I saw them, I wanted to get them, but um, there was one exclusive one for online on, on a website called, I believe it was called GoPuff or something like that. Uh, but I was able to find this one in stores and I did buy it. And then I found, I think these were also in store, but uh, the day I bought this one, it wasn't there. So I only bought one. Then um, I, I ended up buying these three online and I bought, um, yeah, the one I bought, when I bought this one online, I thought it was this one because this was the only one I'm, I was missing. And then when it got here, cause it was a one day delivery, uh, the same day I, I ordered it, they, they came. And then I realized I ordered an extra of this one basically. So I have two of these already. I did order two of these as well. Cause um, they're exclusive to the store. So I had to get two just in case it tasted real good. And this one only had one. Then um, I also got a bonus right here. A big and bold buffalo style chicken i got that one with the ones i bought online but this one gave me the most trouble this one right here it took me literally after i bought these it was like almost more than a month ago probably like close to two months ago i got these they've been in my freezer for that long and then um i be, i kept looking for this one in stores uh nearby me but i couldn't find it anywhere I looked everywhere and I, I I was thinking maybe it's not here this day. Maybe it'll be here uh, another day and uh, several different stores. So I went looking because this one was not an exclusive to anywhere. So it should be, I should have been able to find it in store anywhere. And then um, like uh, a month ago or whatever, I checked online and then it was on the same website as this one, but it was sold out. So I had to check where I could buy it uh, locally or whatever in store basically. And there were some targets. I went there, I was I had to go all the way in Manhattan to a target. Well, I was heading to a target in Manhattan, but uh, when I was like literally three blocks heading to Manhattan, I mean, um, targets, I was very close to target. Uh, then a, a supermarket building just started calling my name like, father, father. I got what you need. I was, and I was very confused because I was like, who's talking to me? And like, because there was nobody around. Like there was people around, but like nobody was talking to me. And I kept checking who's talking to me. And then I realized it was the building talking to me. I was like, how is the building talking to me? It's a building. And then he was like, yo, father, father, I got what you need. I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, like, I got what you need. Just come inside me. I was like, whoa, what? You want me to do what? Yo, he's like, no, no, pause, pause. Not like that. I was like, and then uh, he was like, not like that. And then he was waiting for my response. He waited for like five minutes. And he's like, yo, what, what happened? Like somebody took your tongue or something? I'm like, you said pause. I'm like, he's like I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> and then he kept, we kept arguing, arguing. He's like, yo, just go through my damn doors. I'm like... But I don't want you. I'm going. I'm heading somewhere. He's like, no, come over here. Like, I got what you need. I'm like, no, first of all, I don't want to go inside of your damn doors. And I am have a destination to reach. Like, let me go. Like, why are you even talking to me? You're building. He's like, he's like, yo, stop testing my gangster. I'm like, first of all, I'm not a teacher. Second of all, I don't want to go inside of you or your damn doors. Okay. I don't want to make it sound, make it sound weird. He's like, like, dude, where are you? Where are you going to right now? I'm like, I'm going to Target. And he's like, what's the reason? I'm looking for a specific hot ones, hot pockets. And he's like, all right then, go through my damn doors. I'm like, all right, fine, I'm going. And he's like, go through the damn freezer aisle. I'm like, all right, all right. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, freezer aisle. Oh, he said the freezer aisle. So I'm like, okay, maybe he there's something I'm supposed to get there. And I w went inside. And, and there it was the one I was looking for. It didn't even, I, I didn't even have to go to target. It was inside a damn building. 
<laughs> another building, a supermarket basically in Manhattan. And um, I did look, if I remember right, I did go to other supermarkets in Manhattan, but none of them had, had it. And then um, that specific supermarket just call, kept calling my name. So I went in there and then I got out with two of these because I had to get two since it was so hard to find. And I did not go to Target anymore. And then uh, on my way out, I was like, thank you, uh, random supermarket in Manhattan that I never went inside of until now. Um, I did not think you were trying to tell me that you had the specific hot ones, hot pockets that I needed. It's like, it's all good, it's all good. So then I started heading home and on my way home, I threw out the ecstasy I had in my pocket and I made it home and that's it. So yeah, it gave me a hard time trying to find it. It was not, nowhere near me and online I couldn't get it. But luckily the one supermarket building in Manhattan that whispered my name had it and I got to. And it's like it's right here, they all look identical. When I heated them up, like, like in the previous Hot Ones, I mean not Hot Ones, Hot Pockets video, I had to label them. Except this one, the, the big and bold one. It didn't come with a little thingy. But anyways, uh, enough of that. I'm going to show all of them. This is the spicy garlic chicken and bacon. The one that was very tough to find. I had to go very far away just to get it. Not sure why. It's empty. I have the other ones in my freezer. But uh, here's this side. Here's the, um, the ingredients in case you guys want to make them. I will show them quickly. You guys could pause. And literally, in the actual pause, not like the building was telling me. Anyways, um, here's the nutrition facts and everything. There's this side. All right, so that's the spicy garlic chicken and bacon. Also, something I like is that they added this heat level milled. Well, the heat level. Kind of like in the Hot Ones show. If you guys have ever seen on YouTube Hot Ones, I love the show. I have not watched it in a while, but uh, I'll get back to it at some point. But yeah, they do the heat level thing. And they're showing it here. It's a 2 out of 10, apparently. The um, spicy garlic, chicken, and bacon. Then, first I'll just show this one. Since it's not part of the hot ones. It's a big and bold buffalo style chicken. It just caught my attention because it's big. And um, I do like buffalo chicken pizza. But uh, did, obviously it's not pizza. But um, regardless, I thought uh, it would be a, a nice addition to the video. So these... All these four right here have been sitting in my freezer for like, I, I would say like two months. I, I didn't, I do not keep up with the time that much or like, you know, I don't memorize the time I got something and whatnot every single time. But here's a the back. There's the nutrition facts. All right, so that's that one. The next one is the Hot Ones Smoky Green Chili Cheesesteak. And this one is a five out of 10, apparently. But I'll be the judge of that, of course. But this one actually does look very tasty. Especially because of the insides. Um, here's the uh, ingredients. For whoever wants to make them. That's a lot of ingredients. There we go. Then there's the back. I'm going to show it a little better. I just like showing everything. This thing keeps on staying there. Okay. There, finally. All right, and there's that. All right, the next one, actually I'll show it last. The next one is the Hot Ones Hot Habanero Pepperoni and Sausage. It's a five out of 10, out of 10 as well. Looks nice. Looks like just not any regular pepperoni Hot Pockets, to be honest. There's the ingredients. I wonder if it's all the same ingredients or not. I'm not quite sure. I did not bother looking all of, at all of them. I guess you guys could if you guys are planning to make them. I wouldn't, but um, maybe at some day, at some point, maybe. All right, here's the last one. The one that was exclusive to the website, the uh, GoPuff or whatever it's called. Hot Ones Fury Hot Pepperoni. It's uh, made with the last dab, which in the show, the last dab is the hottest hot sauce they have. So very interesting. Heat level hot, 10 out of 10. Also, these are uh, two of them said medium. The other one was mild. 
this one is hot and there's a what it comes with apparently I actually don't see the other ones whatever it doesn't really matter you guys will see it in the box there's a this side this side the bottom side then the ingredients I'm, I'm quite sure they're basically all the same ingredients except like just the insides maybe and there it is so that's all of them um, also something I'm gonna be doing is that if they're not hot enough especially the last dab one I'm gonna be adding this hot sauce that I got from Burlington um, long ago it's uh, the deadly Bloody Mary apparently it's very hot it's a uh, very spicy very hot it makes me sweat sometimes but yeah I love it especially the glass skull but yeah I got it years ago <laughs> it's been expired but um yeah it's not done I will finish it if I die I die but it was 599 at Burlington this was like I must have bought it 2019 I'm assuming maybe 2018 I really don't remember but it's been in my fridge for that long there's a hair on it and it expired 2020 so it's been expired for what is it uh three years basically because it recently became 2024 so it has not been fully four years yet but this is how it looks like and it smells very spicy but it's a nice smell anyways i will be adding it to add more spice because i have a feeling they're not going to be spicy regardless of being hot and i have my drink here so that i don't die anyways i'm gonna start off with the big and bold buffalo style chicken um they're still hot also i'm quite sure this one is obviously not going to be spicy I, I guess it is buffalo style so it has a some sort of spicy yeah spicy buffalo sauce but i'll be the judge of that let's see how spicy it is It's very very little like spicy it's basically like the i'm quite sure like the spicy garlic and spicy garlic chicken and bacon it should be mild two out of ten i'm quite sure like this probably like one out of ten to be honest i could barely feel it But it does taste good. I'll say a uh, buffalo chicken pizza actually tastes better. But um, this is not bad. Still tastes very good. All right. I'm going to add some of it. Now, I don't have a spoon, but I have this. Uh, what are these things called? Popsicle stick <laughs> that, I, that I got from a popsicle that I ate like a few days ago. Yeah, I didn't feel like getting a spoon and dirtying a spoon. I already made a plate dirty, so I don't want to make a, a spoon dirty. But I'll add some of it. Like I said, it is spicy, very spicy. I haven't seen it anymore in Burlington or anywhere. So I don't know if they still sell it at all or not. But in case you guys are interested, it's called the Bone Rattler Hot Sauce. And um, it comes in a glass skull, which is the coolest part. I'm so glad I was able to get it. But yeah, I guess just look out for it not being expired like mine. But it's all good. I should live. If I die, then um, please comment in the comments down below. Rest in peace. Yeah, it's hot. It's not like crazy hot, but it's spicy. And if you're not used to spicy, you will most likely die and be buried within the next week. All right, 
So I'm gonna start off with the the one that gave me the most trouble. This one right here, spicy garlic, chicken and bacon. Um there it is. <laughs> oh no wait, that's SG that's smoky green chili cheesesteak. I wasn't gonna write the whole thing out. So I just put the letters. The first letters of the words. Alright, if that's there it is. Spicy what's it called? Spicy garlic, chicken and bacon. So there I put the SG and C and B for chicken and bacon, of course. Alright, so this is gonna be mild, two out of ten. Let's see how it is. It's good. Yeah, you can barely feel the, the spiciness. But then again, it's hard to tell, mainly because I already have the spice in my lips, like is tingling my lips so it's very hard to taste if it even has any spiciness to it but i think this one is just a very little bit more spicier than this then this means it should be like a three maybe this one is like less than two okay now it tasted a little bit but very mild if you guys are planning to, well, if they're still available, if wherever you guys could look for them, then um, yeah, this is the least spiciest. I'm sure you guys could survive this one. All right, I'm gonna add my hot sauce, the Skulls hot sauce, the Skulls juice. Ooh, okay, that's a lot. There's the hot sauce. There, you guys can see the liquid. All right. Either, either the spiciness went down for being expired, or I remember it being more spicier than it is, because I remember like the first few times I. I would use it I would be sweating crazy because it was so spicy but now I just like I feel sweat coming down a little bit but not as much like before and I'm putting a lot if you guys think I'm not I'm putting a lot I'm putting it like inside of the, the hot pocket but yeah, I don't know maybe it's because it expired I'm not quite sure But maybe I'll kick in more later. Anyways, next I'll go with I'll go with the pepperoni and sausage. It's not that one. There we go. Hot habanero pepperoni and sausage. Just because the smoky green chili and cheese steak looks more um, delicious from the the picture. Anyways, I'm gonna try this one out. Okay, I should feel the spiciness to it. It is for sure is a five. It tastes good too. I'm a, all right, I actually did not show it. I'm gonna take another bite. There's the pepperoni, the sausage. You can actually feel the spiciness to this one. It's actually nice. So at last, something they advertise as being spicy is actually spicy and not, not spicy basically. All right, now I'm gonna add this. It's actually gonna add the heat even more. Okay, now I'm sweating. Damn, so much, so much heat. But of course I'm not dead yet, but maybe I will later. Especially when I go to the bathroom. 
Anyway, <laughs> anyways, I put, see, as you guys can tell, that's the liquid right there, the hot sauce. All right, I'm ready to die. Yeah, this hot sauce is kicking in now. Now I feel it even more. And yes, I am sweating. But I love it. I love the feel. I love the feel of dying. Dying out of, from eating spicy. But this one was good. Also, now that I think about it, I've been forgetting. I've been forgetting to review them. The Big and Bold Buffalo Style Chicken. It was tasty. It wasn't... It did. I did feel the spiciness a tiny bit. But like I said, it was like either less or a tiny bit more from the spicy garlic chicken and bacon so it was either like a like a two out of ten for the spiciness like the you know the heat level either it was like a two out of ten or maybe like a three out of ten potentially but i'll give it um out of taste and enjoyment i'll give it a um, six out of eleven i did like it then the spicy garlic chicken and bacon. That's cool as well. I'll give that one a 5 out of 11. For the um, hot habanero pepperoni sausage. The taste was good. I liked that it actually, you could feel the, the burn in your tongue. You feel the spiciness, of course, unlike other foods I've reviewed and that you could barely taste the, t the hotness or you know, the spiciness, whatever. So I'll give it a 7 out of 11. Um, okay, now is the next one. So this one is smoky green chili steak sauce. I mean, cheese, cheese steaks, cheese steak. The first time earlier I was looking at it, it made me, it made me think of cheesecake because cheese steak instead of the steak cake made me think of cheesecake. It actually worked good well with these because, you know, cheesecake it's made out of milk and um, milk helps you relieve the spiciness um, burn from your tongue a bit not completely of course but you know more than water anyways uh, what's it called again smoky green chili cheesesteak all right I'm gonna take a bite also they're not super hot anymore like you know temperature wise oh look at that it actually looks nice I like how it has like green peppers, like, you know, green bell peppers and whatnot. At least I think they're green, green bell, pepper, bell peppers. Unless they're like jalapeno peppers, I'm not quite sure. It says right here, re with reduced fat, mozzarella cheese. Yeah, jalapeno peppers, cilantro, I love cilantro, and hot ones, Los Calientes, yes, with, which is one of the hot sauces. And um, actually, I did not check. What, is, what hot sauce does these have? Hot ones, Los Calientes. Oh wow, it's the same thing. Oh, but this one is r red and this one is green. The uh, hot sauces. And then this one. What does it contain? Uh, hot ones, the classic. Garlic Fresno hot sauce. Okay, cool. I did not realize that till now. Also, I did not feel the spiciness, unfortunately, that much. Like the, the pepperoni and sausage one. Let me try it again. Maybe it's because I have this in my mouth as well. Since it's lingering in my mouth, basically. Overall, the taste is very good. I do like it. But I don't feel the spiciness as much as I did with that one. Okay, maybe a little bit more now. After the second bite. Hmm. I'll give it a um, 8 out of 11 because I like the taste more and looks very cool. All right, I'm going to add this one. I'm dying here, but um, what can I do? I could not eat it, but I will because I want to. All right. There we go. There's all the households right there.
Yeah, spicy. Just the way I like it. Uh, inside it goes. I'm like eating half of them. I'll finish them after I stop recording, of course. All right, and now for the big one, the um, the um, apparently the hottest one, the Fury Hot Pepperoni. I have to spell out the pep just in case. Um, it's it has hot ones the last dab, which is the hottest hot sauce in the show. So I'm curious to find out if it's actually hotter than the other two or not. But regardless if it is, I'm gonna be adding more of this. And I'm dying right now, it's very hot, I'm sweating. And um, like I don't mind spicy food and why not. The thing is that I just don't like sweating. That's the part I don't like about eating spicy food. It's when uh, it's actually very spicy and it makes me sweat. Anyways, I'm gonna take a bite. I think the reason I don't taste the spiciness at first for any of them is because I I bite I bite the um like the um what's it called the end part or the uh, the crust or whatever and it has very little of the I take a bite of li very little of the sauce basically. So like in the middle is where it has more of the spiciness. Yeah, cause um, I barely taste it. All right, I have to bite into the middle now. Yes, this one is spicy. You can feel it. I'm not sure whether to say if it's a 10 out of a 10 for the um the heat level i was expecting not being able to handle it since it's the last dab like not necessarily handling it not being able to handle it but like but like basically it having it affecting my tongue a, a, a lot, like me gasping for for uh, water or whatever, or being like, ah, damn, it's so spicy, but no, I do feel it, of course. It tastes good. But yeah, it's not as crazy as I was hoping it would be. But regardless, it at least is spicy. And I'm quite sure for the people that don't eat spicy and if they happen to try it out for whatever reason, they probably will most likely almost die from eating it. Not die, but almost die. Because uh, if they don't eat spicy and they're not used to it, they most likely will potentially cry out of eating it. But um, for people like me who enjoys spicy food and eats it a lot, it'll make you sweat, but pretty much nothing. Nothing that crazy. All right, I'm gonna add some of the Skull's hot sauce. The very fiery and poisonous hot hot sauce. Damn, all right, I added a bunch. That's a stronger kick, a stronger kick with both the spiciness from the the last stab and from the um, what's it called? The bone rattler hot sauce. A very good hot sauce. I recommend it if you guys want to try it out. Of course, not expired, <laughs> but um, that's it. Tastes it very good. Oh, all right. I'll give this one um. Uh, 8.5 8 out of 11 because um it was good it was spicy of course but i did like it this one a little better but regardless i just like that it's uh kind of accurate the spiciness 
and uh, it does have a good taste, of course. So yeah, pretty much it. Very cool. I like that they that after they did the Magic the Gathering thing, which wasn't the guy Magic the Gathering hot hot pockets were like months ago, probably like before, uh, like around October last year, like way before that. And I did the video like maybe two months ago. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, they came out with hot sauce. I mean, hot ones now. I'm hoping they have more um, later on in the future. Maybe, I don't know. What can I think of? Some other type of Hot Pockets uh, with different brand. I don't know. I can't really think of one. But something cool would be nice. Something different. Maybe collaboration with... Uh, Instead of a card game, because Magic the Gathering was a card game, and maybe they'll do like an anime or something like that, or maybe a video game and have different boxes or so. But yeah, anyways, also I went through all those hot pockets with um, this hot sauce without drinking anything till now. It's also my Captain America uh, bottle that I got maybe like two months ago, I, I believe. It's very cool. And it keeps my drinks cold. And I have some strawberry sparkling water <sighs> that feels so good after putting my tongue on fire on fire for a long time with those five hot pockets but yeah that is the review i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching leave a like if you like the video comment down below what you guys think also check out the video in the playlist and above and i'll see you guys in the next video